Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about creating complex selections. And making some complex shapes with selections for your puzzle. And I think most of you know how to use the marquee tool and the ellipse tool. M will get you the marquee tool. If we hit M again, we should get to the ellipse tool and I can see it over here so I hit M I get the rectangular marquee if I hit M again I get the ellipse tool and if that's not working try shift M shift M and that's a preference that we can change uh, in Photoshop for this assignment we want to make sure that our feather is uh, set to zero pixels and we'll go ahead and check the anti-alias up here. So some of this will be review for some of you. Others it may be brand new. So if it is, that's good. Alright, so uh, one way that we can make these puzzle pieces would be to just click and drag with our selection tool. And we know that if we hold down the space bar while we're dragging our, as long as we keep our mouse pushed down, we can adjust the size of our shape, hold down shift to constrain to a circle, and we can hold down space bar then to move it around. All right. So I'm going to make that a selection. And if we want to add to this selection, I mean, you know, we could make simple shapes, circles and squares and rectangles for our puzzle piece, but I'm asking you to do something a little more complicated, right? So if we want to add to this selection, another selection, there's a couple of ways we can do it. Up here in the toolbar, we have these little icons. And the second one over says that we're going to add to this selection. The third one over says we're going to subtract. And the fourth one is intersect. So if I wanted to add to this selection, I'm going to click on this second one. And I'm just going to drag out a, another circle. I'll hold down shift, hold down space bar to move it. And when I get it into position, I'll let go of my mouse. So there's add to. Now if we want to subtract, We'll go up here and click this third icon over, and you'll see our little cursor has turned into a minus sign. So now if I click and drag, and hold down space bar, I can move it into position. And when I get it right where I want it, I'll let go of my mouse. That didn't work. I'm going to click and drag. And when I let go of my mouse, it is going to subtract from that selection. And I'll show you what the fourth one is over. That's intersect. So as I click and drag, I'll hold down spacebar to move it into position. And when I let go, it's going to take the intersection of that first selection and that last selection. All right, that's using these icons up here. We can also do that by just holding down some of our modifier keys. So if we want to draw a select, so whenever we, selection, whenever we want to add to it, we're going to hold down Shift. Whenever we want to subtract from it, we're going to hold down Option. And when we want to um, get the intersection, we're going to hold down both Shift and Option. All right. Those are kind of the basics in uh, making selections. That works with the Lasso tool. Uh, the Polygon Lasso tool, it will work with um, Quick Selection. It will also work with uh, the Magic Wand. So that's how we're going to make 
a puzzle shape. So let's just, I'm going to start out with a rectangle. And we'll just add to it by holding down shift. I'm going to subtract from it, holding down option. I will hit uh, command J to make that puzzle piece, duplicate that puzzle piece onto a new layer. I'll click on my original layer tap the three key to change the opacity and there's a new puzzle piece. Alright, so that's the basics of um, creating complex shapes and we're going to talk a little bit more about that and then how we would um, move forward from here. There's a couple of ways we could do that so I will talk about that in the next video. Thank you.